there, you're going to watch me make this. So what we're going to need is any wood. I'm using oak because I'm an absolute baller and I only like hard wood. Can't be a good length of hard wood. Screws, an arrangement of bits, a square, a file, sanding block, drills. Helps if you sharpen your pencil. I'm going to leave the back bare for all the inputs and then I'll just put a piece underneath to like a shelf behind this sit that flush with the top of the wood and just mark the underside because we're going to be coming from this corner point here and going off to maximum lean something like this which as you can see, I think gonna be too bad. And then once we've got that, we can use it as a template. Even maybe, just maybe. Wait, wait, wait. What are the odds of that marrying up perfectly for the depth? That'd be pretty much perfect. I might actually screw that together now. Right, what we wanna do is flush that up. I want that to be perfectly flush with the flush. Pencil mark on there, and that piece shall just sit on there. Drill bit with countless sink three holes. Screws I'm using are six gauge three quarters and the thickness of the wood I'm using is 12 and a half mil. Looking lovely, nice and flush on that side. Got enough room on the front for front face. We need to make two of these, we need to make a front, and we need to make probably something in the middle. So, it's gonna look nice. Once we've got this piece, it's a lot easier to work because you've got a jig then. Mark that cut, my real may as well mark that cut as well. Now we've got two sides, both measured to the depth of the little push. So we've just got to make the front and the back, sand it up. Nice. This is going to be for the front piece. That's a long cut. I'm sick of doing cuts. Oh. 
coming together slowly but surely. There we have it, barring a bit of sanding, which I'll do now. Arms pumped. So this is something like the finished product. There you go. Now I've got sawdust all over me, but can push. I've still got some clear stain, so I might stain it and I'll show you the results in the next video. I hope you enjoyed me messing around in my bedroom and getting sawdust everywhere. But I don't even know how long I've been doing it, ages, but these cost you £50 from shop and I've just made one, so there you go.